seven years ago, I made a video about taking two two by fours, gluing, screwing, and nailing them together, and using them in place of four by fours. And this this was the job I was doing this for seven years ago, and it has been one of my most viewed videos. Notice I don't say most popular because I think I've got more hate and discontent over that video than any other. Now look at that. Seven years later, that one's standing firm. That one's standing firm. Now I am replacing some of these guys because down here I've got three in a row that rotted out. And they rotted out at the base. And you can see here where I'm replacing with a 4x4. Four four. And uh, these are two of the 2x4 hacks that I'm t pulling out. And look where they rotted. They're fine up there. They rotted in the ground. And also notice where they rotted. They rotted where this one, and I don't know if that, is that a jasmine? My wife knows what it is. Where this one vine bush has taken over the, um, the fence, that's where they rotted. I'm no scientist, but I find that interesting. And uh, then we get back into, oh, that one's rotted. Oh, that's right. I'm replacing that one. But then we get back into good ones. Now, I'm not saying they're all good. There may be some rot in here, but, se oh, that one feels bad. Okay, that one's rotted. But seven years around here is pretty darn good with today's treated wood. So, I'm revisiting this video that I made seven years ago, and I'm, I'm going to, basically, I'm going to call it. I think this hack was worth it. At the time, 2x4s were much cheaper than 4x4s. Now, it's not quite as much, but um, at the time, I saved, I think, $2 per, per post by going with the two 2x4s. Two now, after I put the time and the screws and the glue, was it, was it you know, cost effective? I don't know, but I had time. And again, it was an experiment, and I love to try new things. That being said, I'm going back in with 4x4s four because I want to eventually do something different with this fence and it's going to call for 4x4s. Four but that's, that's neither here nor there. So, was this hack, this experiment a success? Well, I'm going to say, let me see if I can pick this one up. I'm going to make a qualified yes. Uh, because I believe that this rotting would have taken place if they'd been 4x4s. Four I've, I've got enough 4x4s four four in the ground to know that that happens. I mean, it, it just happens around here. That's why my new fence in the back, after Sally laid it down, is made of concrete and um, T-posts. <laughs> no, no, no wood at all. So, I just want to kind of put a cap on this experiment seven years later. I think it was worth doing at the time. With the prices that we have now, I'm not sure I would. Hell, with the prices that we have now, I'm not even sure I like doing this. Frankly, see if I can see it from here. I prefer that fence over there, and you probably can't see it, but it's uh, concrete um, blocks with the heavy-duty T-post put into them, and then the fence stretched. And I love that fence. So, just want to make a quick video, talk about this, and... Uh, just kind of put a cap on cap on the 2x4 to 4x4 hack. Hey, thanks for watching.